Hey guys, so we have a really really interesting hero here. Uh, Arthas, of course, it does say Abaddon, but this is Arthas. After he picked up uh, Frostmourne, uh, discarded his hammer, uh, stopped being Paladin, became Lich King, leader of the Scourge. All of that good stuff, you know, from Warcraft 3 into World of Warcraft. Probably know all the lore behind it. Great, great hero. Uh, even in Dota 1, where it's like the authentic look. All of the spells kind of go with the theme, even the colors. So, really, really nice hero to play. Really interesting, great set of uh, utility and... Uh, the way I play him, I just like playing him as support. You can play him as an off laner, but I think as support, he can really excel. Because the items just complement complement the whole uh, skill set really nicely. So, let, let's start with the build. Uh, boots, why made Tranquil Boots? Tranquil Boots because usually I go on the lane with something like Sol Ring. This takes uh, your health to, uh, in, in exchange for mana. And uh, so that kind of drains your health, and uh, Mist Coil also deals damage to you as well. And uh, add, add to all of that a double harassment on the land from enemy heroes, and you can kind of see how your health uh, goes down pretty quickly. And you still, you're playing support, you still need to be able to cast these. You may run, run out of mana, you don't want to buy so many mangoes. Soul Ring just might be the idea, uh, combine it with Tranquil Boots. When you take a lot of damage, uh, your, your health goes down. Just go back a bit, chill out, and uh, regenerate and go back. Uh, you can cast again these and any of the of the spells, right? But um, I mean, you won't have this. You'll be just uh, pumping everything into coil and uh, shield because it's technically a double healing spell. Now, also something you can get is the uh, spirit spirit vessel is the, the final form of the item, but uh, something like urn, because this is uh you know it starts with the urn, right? So. If you want to get the urn, urn is just another nice uh, healing effect, gives you mana regeneration as well. So if you need heal, if any of your allies need heal, you can cast that, you can cast the shield, the mist coil. You really have like a triple healing effect. Uh, when you upgrade it, it, it to, into vessel, it gives you really nice health boost. Uh, there, there's always the 4% health reduction on enemy heroes when you cast it. So really great. Uh, with dealing with any nasty offlaners, right? With a lot of health, a lot of strength uh, puffed up. So all of the benefits into this, and again, yeah, it just goes with the whole team. Uh, so whether you decide to make this, uh, it's still an optional item, but uh, something like these are like uh, com compared are really better. Um, so maybe you just want to get those instead first, but um, you know, nothing wrong with this. Like I said, it's it's perfectly synergized. Uh, there's always Holy Locket. Uh, Holy Locket again buffs, uh, gives you health, gives you mana. Uh, it's a it's a instant uh, cast spell. That doesn't doesn't cost any mana, so you you can kind of just you know get the charges up. It doesn't have to be twenty. It doesn't have to be maxed out. Uh, as you can see, the the cooldown where it uh, starts regener regenerating back is really also not that high 30 seconds so just casting holy being able to cast holy locket uh, into one target uh you can use the call on the second target i mean your your uh, allies in the team cast the shield on the third one or yourself or just kind of dump all three on, on one guy you know if, if, the, if it's like a carry or you know mid guy running away you really want your carry and mid dying especially early and uh this this is not that uh hard to just you know get early and you can as you can see, it, it, it's already synergizing great with this. It doesn't cost any mana as well, so it doesn't, if you have soldering, you don't have to uh, sacrifice any health to cast it. Uh, also, uh, the, the second uh, effect, the passive effect, amplifies heal by 30%. Any other heal I cast, and uh, the LB mechanism, it that gets buffed by 30%. 30%. Uh, not sure it should also work with the vessel. I'm not sure if it works. I never really bothered to find out, but it says any heals. This also heals. I, I, I'm guessing it works with this as well. But um, you know, you'll be getting mechanism. It definitely works with mechanism. And uh, this is just another item. Uh, you you got some single target heals. Let's say you made these. There's two of them. There's now four. Uh, having another heal that that's, that's like AOE on top of all of this, it's you know, it, it, it's just another amazing thing. Uh, if you are busy kind of dealing with the single target heals and uh, you, there's always going to be somebody that doesn't get the heals and he kind of wants or, or you just need it pressing the mechanism kind of covers everybody in that area you know and it's just another way uh, just, just, just to try keep everybody alive uh, 
at the end of the day you do not worry that much about yourself uh there's borrow time there's old it is like a second life once this procs i mean yeah they, they don't have to attack you and kill you their damage but still it's still four seconds uh extra time uh you'll be getting something like this as well this is 2.5 so you kind of get 6.57 seconds uh you know depending how they proc but this is always proc first and uh you know it's another reason why i make something like this uh pretty much it's the pack that i really like for uh abaddon just a lot of really nice instant uh heals aoe heal combined with your uh you know instant cast it's it's really really nice uh this is kind of even whatever you know you're just kind of playing off all of these uh so yeah that's what mechanism does uh what another end of also getting is on disc this is because you're playing support uh, you dealing or not dealing damage is completely relevant. Uh, you can be in the fight. It's not one of those uh, hints where I always say, kind of, you know, get the other lands, stay far from the fight, cast your spells. Uh, with with this guy, it's it's not a problem being in the middle of a fight at all, uh, or even taking some damage off of your off laner. You can kind of do uh, be like an off tank, you know, in a way. Uh, so you can kind of relieve the damage from your main tank, or just call it off laner. So, why why on this? Uh, if somebody gets you low enough in this prox, you're still able to run around and cast any items that you have. You just kind of have to do it quicker, right? If they catch you. But um, it's just another like a, like a third life almost. This gives you one life. This gives you second life. It's almost it's almost like you have three lives, right? Uh, when this prox, you don't get you don't uh, deal any damage, but that doesn't matter. You can still cast uh, the utility. You do not care about damage uh the damage from the shield is great but um that's not the that, that's just like a secondary effect that, that does not matter that much just want to cover anybody that's uh you know kind of low health or maybe a, gonna die uh, soon if he jumps in the fight and you need him in the fight you can just go around and spend these you can look at the cooldowns five seconds here six seconds there uh immediately you can immediately cast one one with the other they have almost the same uh cooldown 5.5 and 6. So that's great. Uh, all of these you'll have, you know, just get another uh, item that kind of lets you be there. Tank damage, uh, do all of these casts. It's, it's just an amazing uh, support hero with how much you're just given immediately, and how much it benefits from anything like this, right? It doesn't have to be all of this. Uh, you're not supposed to farm. Of course, as a support, there's three cores. You gotta let them uh, hit the waves and the and the jungle packs. But still, uh, if there's a wave in front of you, you have ways ways to farm them quickly. If, if your cores are busy, uh, shield does AOE. You can also spam these, kill the targets. You know, Abaddon can generate money anyway. So, but it's not a big of a deal. You do not you do not need all of these uh, to be really successful. Even if you get just a locket and mechanism and this, it's pretty much already really amazing. Uh, so four step as well i just get this because uh abaddon does have some uh, mobility problems he's pretty fast and all but um there's no you don't really get him blink he doesn't have leap like mirana or a jump like like faceless void uh you know or something like uh void spirit he just doesn't have that you don't get him to blink so four step is the only option uh to really get him for that uh just some extra mobility can also be another way that you can help your allies you know if they're running away you can push them out of the danger use it on yourself to get closer to be able to cast these faster uh, it's just another item that makes a lot of sense right uh and yeah i would pl probably end them with something like this uh if i didn't go for tranquil boots but you would always kind of go for tranquil boots you can even uh use the mechanism and uh, tranquil boots and just kind of uh, get something like uh, Guardian Greaves and then you have one more slot if you kind of went for Arcane Boots and the uh, mechanism will be there you can just get Greaves and uh, you, you then you also like one get a one free spot uh, that can be anything uh, a Lotus Orb can be also pretty nice but that really depends on the enemy pick uh, I can always get the mechanism and Holy Locket so I can do my job no, no matter what the enemy pick is because I'll be there and alive most of the time so it's kind of like a nice extra if there's somebody like lion like shadow shaman uh ogre magi you know if there's somebody this also reflects back any items 
So if anybody tries to cast Orchid, they also get silenced. If they got uh, Hex, they also get Hexed as an item. So also works that way. And it's also like a nice, another nice layer of protection. We can also give this to your offlaner. When he's about to jump in the fight, you kind of buff him with the shield. You give him the Lotus Orb. And uh, whatever happens when you start losing health, you can stay in the back and spam coils. Uh, this is going to be mechanism or use four staff to save him. You know, uh, holy luck get a lot of a lot of things. And uh, I said like a uh, uh, last one uh, for scepter as an option. Scepter is something that I would make more if I was playing the offlane ver offlane version. But I guess it can also work here. Uh, Ult pretty much gives you three more seconds. It's six, now it's nine with this, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So three seconds on ult is pretty nice. It's not a it's not a small buff, it's it's pretty big buff. In Dota, three seconds is is eternity. Uh in Dota even zero point something uh is too much. Three seconds is huge. So stats are also nice from that, but um the whole effect is if any ally takes uh more than five hundred damage, right, uh within some uh closeness to you they get an immediate uh, coil fired toward them so it's uh the like the the tricky the tricky thing about this is it needs to be activated that's the only uh that's the only thing uh, with the with the scepter so it would be great if it was just like an aura like that would be a huge buff if you just had an aura when when everybody takes anybody takes damage you, they just get a free coil but um uh, this has to be active so you know that's why i don't put this i just save it as the last one uh you will have to cast this whether you need it or not to have the effect of the scepter going that's why it can be problematic and that that's why it makes much more sense as an offlaner because as an offlaner you'll be you'll be in the fight first anyways you wouldn't be having these and uh and this and you just would not care uh if this procs because it would proc by itself it would just take so much damage so it's it clear clearly shows uh that this is for all flame build i mean that's also why they give you three more seconds you can press this again much value as you can but um yeah it's more it's more like uh for me for a offlane version but uh if you want you can still get it just be careful you have to press this uh, and once you press this and they get you and you have, they have this uh you can kind of die quickly and your support supporting stops there and it could be a lot of value lost so definitely tricky one uh but yeah that would be that uh shard is also for yeah shard uh shard is also for offlane more because you'll be building some damage as well in forms of strength as uh, especially so you can freely ignore these uh as a support you do not really care ah uh, this is the main stuff so that would be that would be the whole item thing uh I kind of think this suits them the best. There's probably something else that you can put in, but um, I don't think it will have a, a, as big impact as this. I just, you know, it kind of follows the whole theme of uh, of healer, even though this is not a strictly heal, but it kind of follows the whole theme of being being the one of the hero with the most uh, protect protective spells combined with items in the whole game, while also being able to survive by itself with uh, no help from items, right? Uh, all of the other supports need Aeon Disc. You don't want to survive the first big hits. Uh, with uh, this guy, you just, you, just, you just don't care. There's ult that is going to save you no matter what, right? So that will be it. Uh, talent, talent tree quickly. Uh, you just get the strength. Let's survive more. Uh, second one, you know, damage is nice. It's a lot of damage, I, can, I can't say. But um, again, it depends. Uh, if you take damage, You'll, you'll feel guilty you'll feel really guilty if you're not using this in a fight uh and it can be a really bad thing it can be a really bait uh to take this you'll feel guilty not using it and uh it'll kind of force you to enter fights and right click as you would play as an offlaner and that's not really your job and uh it, you know it, it's gonna make you get there you're gonna take the damage you're gonna waste this probably uh you'll have to use these on yourself to save you uh you, you might you might get, might get caught up in the whole mess uh, disabled hexed whatnot you're not playing black king you're not playing anything like sphere uh you do not usually get anything even as a hood i mean at least with my build so 
uh, like with some other heroes, I think the, it can be really, really problematic because you'll be feeling guilty when you're not getting the damage uh, value. And uh, you, you can be in the fight, like I said, but you, you should still not directly be there tanking damage. You're not offlaner with this, but you're your support still. So all this is great, but um, I'd rather just take the, the mist uh, heal, right? I just take this and, uh, you know, confirm the role that I'm there, but not uh, somebody that's, that's going to run like a headless chicken in to get the most damage, the value out of my damage, you know, that I took. So I would take the last one. Uh, third one, of course, more shield health. Uh, you know, it's a nice buff. It's 150 in total. Uh, combined, it's a, it's a nice heal uh, heal boost. So why not just take uh, coil and uh, shield? You know, they kind of go nice together. Uh, last one, of course, you just take the the miss coil. AOE Crystal of Avernus is again a offlaner type of uh, upgrade. Uh, you know, you'll have more attack speed, you'll have more health, you'll have more damage. It makes the whole sense getting this when you're playing something like a off off lane build whatever it is uh but if you're playing support just you know get a free mechanism effect if the game goes that far far of course uh just get a nice mechanism effect on your first spell so you can heal a bunch of people with this with mechanism and then you have shield and uh, lock it for your single targets right uh, it's really nice you can just do a lot of a lot of a lot of immediate if everything was on cooldown and you kind of done the whole thing you can even get there then and uh take some uh take some damage off your off laner or whoever is getting hit take some damage run, uh, run out of the fight again especially if you have this quickly push yourself out and just continue casting this off the cooldown yeah that will be it uh with abaddon again really really amazing here really fun to play uh great lore behind the guy i I mean, I assume everybody knows about him, the whole thing, especially all the players, especially Dota 1 players. So, yeah, enjoy the hero, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.